Hi techies, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about event driven architecture. What is event driven architecture? How it will work? And where exactly we are going to use this event driven architecture? In this video, I am going to explain. Okay, so let's start with what is event driven architecture? Event driven, even what is event? We have to understand. Event is nothing but a request. Okay, any request come to the microservices that calls event. Each event will be served through another event. Okay, so complete request and response will be driven through events. That is called event driven architecture. Okay, so event driven architecture is a one of the pattern of microservices. Event driven architecture works asynchronously. Okay, so how it will work exactly? Now I'm going to explain. Okay, so event, one event, second event, third event. So this one, two, three is there, right? All these three are we will create normally microservices. Okay, so one request come to first microservices and second microservices will serve that response and that is also another event okay so how this communication will happen this will have the communication happens through rabbit mq okay or some other messaging tools okay the communication between two uh, microservices right it happens through messaging tools means it will be happens through asynchronous way okay so we we no need to wait for the response okay it will happen through asynchronous way. You got it? So that's how the, the event driven architecture will work. And it is very scalable and reliable. Okay. So where exactly we will use event driven architecture? I will explain. Okay. So event driven architecture will be used in real time like uh, when you want to <coughs> reset the password. Okay. When you send the reset request, you will get a response of link. Okay, link after some time. After some time, that this is the link you have to reset the password. Okay, so in this place, there are two microservices plays the role. Okay, and in between, we will have a messaging queue. There are a lot of users will make the request of a, a reset password, and he will they will get respond after some time through different microservices which they don't know okay here my event driven architecture will work and another example is when you want to in bank right if you request for any statement right there to request the statement we will have one microservice okay the request will go to the one microservice and that request will be served by another microservice okay and that request uh, details will be sent through messaging queue and another microservice will listen to that and it will give the response with the report in the back end after some time you will get it not immediately so it will work asynchronously okay so i hope you understood what is uh, event driven architecture and how it will work and where exactly this event driven architecture will be used in real time scenarios okay so please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Okay. I will come up with new tech videos. Okay. See you soon.